guys, how you doing today? Heather here from Perfectly Imperfect Perfection and um, I'm rolling the camera, the kids are running around, uh, so here comes Reed, I'm just, um, just saying this because I don't know what kind of interruptions are going to happen, but I have a really <clears throat> strong message on my heart and uh, you know, I go through life watching social media and TV and things and um, constantly confront it with the whole idea that like you have to be perfect to be loved by God that God ex I just read something today about how I guess this is in response to Trump's ban on transgenders in the military which I'm not even touching on I mean I don't know so um but there was a meme and it said something about you know, if you believe transgenders are mentally ill, but then you believe in a man with a white beard who lives in the clouds, who has unconditional love, yet has conditions. Um, said so something like that, like pretty verbatim to that. And, you know, I was just like, oh, I'm tired of reading things like this. I'm so tired of the world's depiction of God. And just, I don't know, like really, I just feel like to like be careful. I mean, whether you believe in God or not, at the end of the day, you're going to go face him and you're going to have to answer to him and respond to him and say to him why you put that meme up. And, you know, when you really start thinking about it, at the end of the day, like, do you really want to offend the the creator? I mean, do you? I, I don't. And um, so I come on here to say that you do not have to be perfect to be loved by God. Like, just lighten your load. One, you don't have to be perfect at all. Like, you know who wants you to be perfect? The world wants you to be perfect. The, you know, you, your teachers want you to be perfect. Your parents expect you to be perfect. Um, the media, magazines, movies, all these things are going to tell you that you need to be perfect in order to be loved. But God does not tell you that. He does not tell you that. Okay? So let me just, um, I had some notes I had written down. So I didn't want to forget some of this stuff. Again, it's really important to me because... You know, it's so easy to fall into this trap that thing, you know, you have to be a certain way to be loved. And then you're like judging God. I mean, who are we to judge God anyway? Like, again, we need to be careful about some of these things we're doing. And, um, you know, so anyway, let me just, let me read my notes. So, let me lighten your load. Stop trying to be perfect. You are already perfect just the way you are. Let me read this to you right here says in my Bible so God created mankind in his own image in the image of God he created them male and female he created them okay we are created in God's image we're not just a flower or a tree or an animal that he was just being creative with and just letting his creative juices flow no he looked at himself and he said I want to make an image of me I'm going to give them my goodness and my wholeness. And, you know, he, I'm sorry for the screaming, but he knit us together in our mother's womb. He knows us individually. He knows us by name. He knows the number of hairs on our head. We are important to him. He loves us and not because we have to do anything to earn his love. He loves us because he made us. Okay. He made us. Just let's stop falling for these lies that we need to be perfect in any sense of the world word. I mean, what is perfection anyway? I mean, what? Straight lines, rigid edges, perfect circles. Okay, yes, when it comes to building things, you do need things to be level. But even then, is anything ever perfect? Is it? When you look out at a sunset, is it beautiful because all the lines are symmetrically in order and everything's perfect? No, it's beautiful because of the colors and the awestruck wonder that is created in your soul as you look at it because it is a something that the God of the universe created. So that same God who created that sunset, he made you, but he made you with so much special intention in mind that he knows the hairs on your head. He made you a certain way. Okay. Hold on, honey. Go body then. He, um, you know, and that's the other thing I wanted to touch on is God made you with your gifts and he made you with your flaws. Okay. Your gifts are so that you can shine. So you can go out in the world and help others. Your flaws that he gave you is so that you can realize how strong you are with his help. He's going to help you overcome anything that you struggle with. So you don't have to let your flaws define you. 
just turn to him. And what that does is when you overcome a struggle with God by your side, your faith increases. And when your faith increases, your relationship with him just gets tighter and he can use you more. So, you know, just stop trying to be perfect. We're not perfect. Throw the word out and uh, my kids are all like looking at me. <laughs> I'm getting all like, I guess, passionate and they're just watching. So, it's kind of a distraction. Anyway, so, you know, I'm not saying that we shouldn't try to obtain new levels and, and get, you know, get better and um, educate ourselves and constantly grow. I think we should definitely do that. But I think we should also stop beating ourselves up and instead encourage ourselves and receive the love that God's already given us and let that be our foundation and God, guide. And let's stop judging God based on what anyone does, whether it's Donald Trump, um, your neighbor, um, a, a pastor or a priest, um, your father. You can't base God on what humans do. We make mistakes. We, we make mistakes. Yes, we were created in his image, but if you want to understand all that, there's more to that as to why we are in a broken world, but we are. And I think we can all just, we can feel it inside. We can feel the truth. So anyway, just want to remind you, you are already perfect. So define the meaning of perfection and create your own meaning for it. And just love yourself the way you are and receive God's love and go out in that world and shine your light. I hope you have a blessed day. Um, if you liked this message, give me a thumbs up, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, if you would like to hear more things like this, subscribe. And um, I just really hope that you feel blessed by this. If you'd like to share it, please share. Um, and I really just hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Say bye.